Hi, this is Zach Meir from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Thursday, the 22nd of January. Starting off with Sign Holdings, where we see an overall bullish pattern. Obviously, there's consolidation after the uh, summer spike towards 0.6 pence. What's interesting since then is that the support, the new support for the shares has come in at or above the former resistance uh, prior to the spike, which is uh, normally a bullish sign constructive chart, but the rising 200 day moving average still. And also today we've seen the gap through the 200 day line around the uh, 0.29 pence level and uh, the top of the gap there at uh, the 20 day moving average at 0.297. I, the idea now is that we'd see support coming in at or above the 200 day moving average. That's a stop loss on an end of day close uh, basis as we try and chase a push towards the top of this rising June trend channel as high as 0.45 or 0.5 pence over the next four to six weeks. Uh, next up is a stock which has uh, been in recovery mode for a while now, uh, Forte Energy. Uh, what I like here is that uh, after the uh, failed attempt to clear the uh, 200 day moving average in December, it looks like we've got consolidation above this uh, feature at 0.26 pence shown here in black. It's normally uh, that much more bullish if a stock or a market breaks through a falling uh, 200 day moving average, uh, as I think gold did uh, the other week. Uh, at the moment, we've got a bull flag here uh, just above the 200 day line. And while the 200 day line is held, we're looking for a top of March 2014 price channel target towards 0.7 pence. That would also fill the top of the old gap down from April uh, in that region as well. So everything sort of ties in in that way. A reasonable risk reward trade here. Uh, finishing off with Quindell, which uh, covered a couple of days ago. It's obviously did well and then uh, fell back from the £1.20 level. That was understandable given the way that there's a line of resistance here on this cup and handle formation up to £1.20, so it's almost a perfect charting uh, target and then pullback. Uh, support came in at the 10-day moving average uh, today. Uh, that's the normally where you, where you would expect it to, to come in on a rising situation. Uh, so that is the 10-day 10 10 moving average at 98 pence is the end of day close stop loss on the buy argument at the moment. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe you'd want to see more evidence of uh, recovery or more re evidence of strength. You'd wait for an end of day close above this uh, November resistance line. So you're not compelled to go in at current levels. Um, there's the option really of either buying towards the 10 day line, uh, 10, uh, 12 pence lower than where we are now, or waiting for a break to the upside, a break of resistance of £1.20. So uh, interesting situation there at Quindell. That's it for me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.